Okay, uh, before the break, we are trying, uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to derive why in uh, buckling our critical stress is equal to pi squared EI L squared divided by A. Okay, and then later on, I'll teach you how to apply this equation. Okay. So we relate buckling, okay, with uh, bending. They have a similar similarity, and this is due to the bending moment, the deformation induced in bending moment, right? So we applied the elastic curve equation, right, to describe how the moment is affecting the uh, deflection, okay? And then we come to solve a second order differential equation. And where we last stop, we derive out that y as a function of x is equal to a sine px uh, plus by b cos px. Okay, so we had our general solution. So now we are going to impose boundary conditions such that equation number eight will be unique solution. And what are the boundary conditions? So we specify down here, okay, our boundary condition, we have two. The first boundary condition is when x is equal to zero, y is also equal to zero. And then the second boundary condition when x is equal to L naught, y is equal to zero. So we have two unknown, A and B, but we also have what? Two boundary condition. That enables us to solve for the constants A and B, or the coefficient A and B. Okay, so we're, we're, going, we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to write out y as a function of x. Is equal to A sine px plus by b cos px. This is our equation number eight. And we know a p, small p, note, right? Small p is equal to square root capital P divided by ei. And the big p is our applied Excel load, okay? Just to, oi, it crashed again, seriously, and it's coming back. Apply Excel load. So we are going to uh, apply uh, boundary condition number one. Boundary condition number one states that when X is equal to zero, y is also equal to zero, and we're going to put it into equation eight. Okay, so this is equal to zero equal to a sine p zero plus by b cos p zero. Right, so when there's a case, we know that sine zero is equal to what zero. Okay, so cos zero is equal to b, right? So we know that zero is equal to b, right? We found that b is equal to zero, right? So we can have the term y as a function. So therefore, y as a function of x is equal to a sine dx, right? And this our address this is our equation 8a because it evolved from equation number 8 right so then we are going to put in our next boundary condition right our next boundary condition boundary condition number two right these are simple math you guys are you guys are better in math or learn more complex stuff than this so x is equal to l right y is equal to zero we're going to substitute into equation 8a right so this boundary condition is at the other end of the deformation this one i know i call it l naught i just change it to l it's the same thing okay 
So from here, we know that when y, when x is equal to L, right? This is equal to A sine small p L, right? And we know that this is equal to zero. Okay. So you're telling me Eugene, A can be equal to zero. Uh, yeah, but I want you to look more specifically conditions right condition where oh, sorry computer crash again and it's bad i wonder why i think too much math for the computer so where <laughs> conditions where a sign uh, P L is equal to zero. Okay. So I want, you, I want us to concentrate on more specifically, right? P L. Okay, we're gonna let P L is equal to N I. Okay, where N is equal to one, two, three, four, so on and so forth, okay? So we know, right, from here we know, if we therefore, so we know sine n of pi, if n is a whole number, right, this will definitely always be equal to what? Zero, am I right? Right, because uh pi 2 pi 3 pi when you sign them is equal to zero okay so therefore we can write okay p is equal to n pi over l okay? so remember what i told you guys uh p was right so i'm 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 i'm, I'm uh yeah, I'm going to leave it as this as it is, okay? So remember what I told you guys what, what small p is equal, right? Small p is equal to what? Square root of capital P over EL, okay? So we are going to write this as square root. Hey, come on, write, not highlight. Square root of big P now, which is our applied Excel load, divided by Young's modulus and second moment of area is equal to pi, uh, N pi over L. So remove the square root. We have the term N squared, pi squared over L squared. So we just rearrange a bit. So we are going to call this, okay? So therefore, P critical, I'll explain to you why this is critical later on, okay? So P critical is equal to N squared, pi squared over L squared multiplied by EI. Okay? So if we were to change this to stress, right? Stress critical is equal to load critical divided by the cross sectional area. What we get over here will be equal to N squared, I squared over L squared, okay? EI over A. Okay. So note, for our case in buckling, in which in analytical calculation of buckling, 
So like what we are doing now, we are going to focus n is equal to 1. Okay. You want to ask me, Eugene, why n is why n is equal to 1? Because of we are assuming that our structure can deform one way. So when n is equal to 1, right, based on x and y, Oh, sorry, this is y, and this is x. The deformation pattern will look this way. Okay, use different color. The deformation pattern will look this way. Deformation pattern. There is also a possibility, okay, that the structure will fail when n is equal to 2. Can you all guess, make a guess, how buckling will look like when n is equal to 2? I will draw for you. When n is equal to 2, the buckling will look this way now. Okay, so again, this is our deformation. Okay. So why are we so fixated when n is equal to 1? Yes. Uh, not that, it's because when originally... Partly right, okay? When originally, when we derive everything, we assume our deformation to have that pattern only. Like bending, remember? We relate to bending moment. So we assume that the deformation is based on that pattern. So that's why n is equal to 1. We did not assume that the deformation has a sonocidal wave, like, like, they, 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 like, like, like n is equal to 2. Okay? We, did not, we did not start... Our, we did not assume our deformation pattern is n is equal to 2. So we are going to focus when n is equal to 1. Okay, so therefore, our critical stress now is equal to pi squared ei over l squared a. Okay. So another thing to take note is that note second moment of area I is equal to A R squared. Okay. Where R is known as the radius of gyration. <laughs> Sorry. Can anyone tell me what is radius of gyration? Anyone? Don't, don't don't judge me, okay? I also have not a clue, man. Okay, physical. I mean, I know mathematically what it does. Physically, like, uh, I don't know why. It, it's just a term used. I don't know. Okay, my bad. Okay, probably I ignore it. Probably after teaching you guys, I will, I will, uh, I will go back. And have a look. But I know that the radius of direction is equal to a square root of i over a. That's all I know. Physically, why what, what it means, it, it can be mean that if you have if you have a mass and you know where the center of gravity is, okay, relative to the origin, that's the radius of gyration. Okay, it's a distance from the origin to the center of gravity. 
So now, you ask me, Eugene, then how is this going to be useful for me? Right? Sometimes we ask ourselves physically, how am I going to measure radius of direction? You take the second moment of area, divide by the cross-sectional area. That's the radius of direction. But I'll make your life simple. If you look at uh, uh, like this table, you guys have seen this table over here, right? What you'll see is the R value. Can you see the R value? The R value are all given down here. Can you see that? Right? Can you see? Uh, I'll zoom in closer. Okay. Can you see that you have an R value over here? R in the radius of direction, the X value, radius of direction in the what? Y value. That's how you get those values. If not, you just apply what? I is equal to A R squared. And then you can find your radius from that formula. You can get from tables like this also. It works, okay? Right. So by no, why that that is, that is important, okay? Why that is important, okay? This is because now, if we 